I'm the visionary. I'm the dreamer. I'm a weaver of ideas and a weaver of dreams. That's how I would see myself. I'm Sister Angela Ann Sikowski. I'm a mission helper of the Sacred Heart. I am a professor in the Department of Religious Studies and the director for the Institute for Pastoral Initiatives. I came to, uh, into communications in the early 70s, 1971, in cable television. I began producing a seven-week series that went into like 10 communities in Ohio. By 1978, we were in 40 communities in Ohio, and uh, that, that was the beginning of it, and then I was sort of convinced about the value of communications in the church. And uh, then I began, I was invited to come to the University of Dayton in 1979 and to start, begin working in a center here. And that center has evolved into who we are today, the Institute for Pastoral Initiatives. The ultimate goal was how to bring the, commu the evolving communications reality of the world into service for the church. In 1988, I was invited to be part of a committee to work on a document in the Vatican, which eventually was a Tata Snove. But then I was elected the world president for Catholic communications. And that is a Vatican, also a Vatican appointment. So I became very much involved going maybe 25, 30 times during my presidency to the Vatican and serving as a kind of consultant to the Pontifical Council and to John Paul II. So I got to know a lot about John Paul II. I met him every single time I went to Rome and he's Polish and I'm Polish and we connected. Uh, but at the end of my uh, term as the world president, the Holy Father presented me with this lovely honor for all the work that I had done for the Catholic Church in my le international leadership role. And so that was a very great honor for me to receive that, uh, that award from John Paul II. Presently, I think our virtual learning community for faith formation is the, is the most significant mark right now. We are able to offer the church a profound service with our online courses. And there are people in the field out there that really believe in what we're doing. But I will always say it's the gift of the Holy Spirit and only that.